empty hearts and neon lights. All right, so we just checked into the Crown Plaza in Kyoto. First, I'll give you a little bit of a room tour, but then we're gonna look at some of the sites around here because that's what some people uh, some people ask for. Oh my god, my face just lit up. Uh, that's what some people asked for after our last video. So anyway, let's first do the room tour. Just to find somewhere that finally feels like... Oh. So this is the room. It's quite cool. It's not really as upmarket as you know some of the uh, recent hotels we've been staying at but um, it's pretty cool and it's got electric curtains which is uh, which is pretty amazing look at that that actually is operating all by itself and we are up on the seventh floor here so we should have a pretty cool view oh there's another curtain behind it. all right we'll sort it out and we'll show you the view in just a second First of all, just have a look at the beds. There are some nice touches, like these little lamps by the side of the bed. Questionable art uh, on the wall, I'm afraid. What is that, you know? I think an eight-year-old could have produced that by cutting up some bits of uh, wallpaper and sticking them together. All right, the window is ready now, so let's actually go and have a look uh, at our view. And uh, yeah, you know, it's reasonable. The city of Kyoto. We are not, we're not on the side where you can see the temples, uh, but it's still pretty cool. And over here we have an espresso machine. Always good to see one of these in a hotel. Credit Chef was favorite. And check this out, in a hotel I always like to see lots of little packets of free stuff. Uh, so what's this? Bath powder next to mint green tea bags. Kind of weird to have bath powder next to the tea, but uh, whatever. Uh, and then you got uh, some uh, free water here. Pretty cool. Uh, right, let's go check out the bathroom. All right, so we're gonna check out the bathroom now. Let's open this up. And ooh, this actually looks really, really nice. One of those sort of uh, posh freestanding sinks. Uh, Japanese toilet that washes your butt. Check, see that? Ample butt washing can go on with this. Uh, then you got a bath, which also has a shower. Not a separate bath and shower, but bath that's also a shower. Pretty nice. Floor's also quite nice uh, tiles. And we just shine it back this way. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like this kind of effect. It reminds me of a sauna or something like that. And, oh, they give you a little stool so that you can actually sit at the sink and, uh, and wash yourself. Pretty cool. Well, although this room hasn't been that amazing, there is one thing I really like, and that is the lighting and how you can control it. So just take a look at these controls right by your bed. Uh, you can, you know, you can turn off a lot of different lights independently, you know, better than what you could do in the Regent. And this one here is pretty cool because it dims the lights on the ceiling, which is really, really useful. So we're just walking on the street and we came across this random, uh, like, you know, temple garden kind of place. So uh, let's go in and check it out. Well, we just went inside this palace behind me. Unfortunately, you can't take photos in there. It's like, uh, you know, they got security cameras watching you and stuff, but uh, it's really, really awesome. I wish I could have shared. If I can find some pictures on the internet, I'll put it on there, but it's like those Japanese paper screens, all these long walkways with these rooms with like murals of like tigers and these trees, and it's very, very beautiful. It's like where they would meet the Shogun or whatever. Very cool. Uh, reminds me, you know, of the feel of China's Tang Dynasty because a lot of Japanese culture comes from Tang Dynasty era and then the Japanese developed it themselves. So very, very cool. I thoroughly recommend it if you're in Kyoto. Hey guys, now we are sightseeing out in Kyoto and I was told by a couple of friends that there is this kind of secret Amex lounge uh, amongst a lot of temples uh, here in Kyoto that we should be able to access with the Amex Platinum, apparently. So we're gonna go and see if we can find it uh, and see if we can get in. Let's go. Broken hearts and starting fights 
Telling truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time so the secret Amex lounge was uh, only available for cards issued in Japan, unfortunately. But uh, we did come here to try some traditional Japanese sweets. So uh, let's give it a go. This looks really good. <coughs> They're very nice. Mm. It's uh, flowers that made me dark. That evening, we tried a local duck hot pot place for dinner, which was really amazing, as was the breakfast at the hotel the next morning. The traditional Japanese restaurant is down this corridor, and the breakfast offering is extensive. You get this tofu hot pot thing, three drinks, I don't quite know why, and all this other stuff. and the restaurant has pagodas and waterfalls out the window. I would certainly recommend the Japanese breakfast if you stay here. It costs 2,900 yen, but we got a 500 yen voucher each for being platinum elite with IHG. The hotel itself costs 30,000 IHG points per night, which we earned from the IHG Rewards Club Premier Card, which currently has a historic high 140,000 point welcome bonus. Link below if you want to check it out. We were then ready to take a Shinkansen back to Tokyo and enjoy the rest of our trip. Since this will be my last video from our Japan trip, I'll throw in a few clips of our trip up to Nagano. We went skiing in a place called Shigakogen. Japanese snow is awesome. You can see the whole run on our ski channel, Generation Snow, link at the end of this video. We also went to see the snow monkeys that bathe in hot springs. You have to walk two kilometers through the forest to get to them, but it's well worth the trip. Although they didn't actually get in the hot spring when I was there, they were just chilling beside it. Still very cute. Thanks for watching guys, leave your comments below and again if you're interested in the IHG credit card, link below. Please subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.